I feel a strong custodial sense to Margo, a deep love for her. I feel that I've grown out of this soil, I cherish this soil, I cherish the Shumash that were the guardians of this soil and the stories that people told and the reverence they held for this land. And I feel that that's what I seek to honor in my relationship with Malibu itself. I say, may I be worthy of the ancestors. When I was about 14, my unconscious started just dumping into my dream life, and I knew that I had to find a way to express what was going on. And for me, I realized that I really wanted to know how I was wired. I wanted to know why are we made up the way we are in terms of our psyche. I started journaling. My dad would always say, when you can't talk about something, paint it or draw it. So I began using drawing and painting as a way of simply sort of exorcising these energies. I ended up going to Juilliard in New York to study acting and I was playing a very violent character that wanted to kill his father. I could not connect with that. And so I had seen a, a, a calligrapher talking about breath, about energy, and I thought that's very much like an actor, meaning a process by which we allow out of ourselves that which manifests in a type of gesture. And I got a large drawing pad, I got paint, and I started using my body, physicalizing, until I found the fury of the character. From that point on, then I would always use art, not as an illustration, but as a tool of actually accessing my deeper emotional and imaginative energies. My work on the tarot, it was much more an act of love, an act of curiosity. There was a real need for the creation through journey of the tarot archetypes in me and through me, because I was looking not to create a belief system, but to understand really the theater of the psyche and why we are composed the way we are, why each of us, like notes on a piano, have a different key, a different quality, but when we stand in the center of this circle, the tarot meaning circle or wheel, we start to realize, oh, I am surrounded by all of these qualities. It's just as I am surrounded by all of the books in the library, each is a different character, a different story, but they all are part of this great question of being human. My, my story in, in Malibu has been this deeper and deeper journey toward the, the great question of what does it mean to be human? In coming back home, there was a sense of place that for me, I needed to find the roots of the tree. I needed to come from somewhere. Meaning within the intimacy of where you live, the book you are, the story you tell, that you are whole and holy, and you are home. On 9-11, when the towers came down, I fell on my knees in this room, this epiphany calling itself the hieroglyph of the human soul, began to emerge with a spontaneous language called the Watcher language, which is the repeating of this type of musical signature over and over and over again. So essentially, I start to follow it much more like a, a dancer, like a, a musician saying, lean into the riff. I don't know where it's going, but as I follow this rhythmic signature, it starts to build into figures and forms. There's something about freestyling now that is fascinating to me because it's, it's an ancient language, it's an ancient technique. It is primary technology, paint, storytelling, imagination, and community. It is immersive, meaning we step into the painting. What's interesting, working environmentally when it's 360 degrees, then you're actually in a sphere that is calling your attention this way, this way. It has become a painted cave. This painted library is the outcome of a lifetime of asking questions about what makes us human, and that's what the books are. So the art is actually an amplification that says, I ride upon the spines of all the stories. It is a true act of love, and for that, I do feel that this, in the long run, is a, a treasure of knowledge.
the people who know what Malibu is realize that possibly you could say this is where love dwells. And Malibu is the, the heart of storytelling because she says, follow your heart. Look at my stream beds, look at my mountains, look at my trees, come down to my ocean, look at my coastline, wander me, explore me. I'm a beautiful relationship, and if you show up, you know what? I'm guaranteed to inspire your heart to tell a story that says yes, yes, yes. That's why.